Hello grade 9 learners and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's lesson, I will be discussing about the inverse variation. From the word inverse, in Tagalog, ito yung kabaliktaran ng unang variation which is yung direct variation. Kaya mapapansin nyo yung binigay ko sa example na situational ay same with doon sa binigay ko doon sa direct variation para malaman nyo yung kanilang difference with regard dun sa equation ng direct variation at sa equation ng inverse variation. So, this time, I will be teaching you on how to solve problems regarding inverse variation. So, let's start our lesson with the mathematical concept. So, we're talking about x and y denote two quantities. It says here that y varies inversely as x. If there is a non-zero constant k such that, so remember the formula or the equation y equals k over x wherein the number of k is called the constant of variation. So again, this time ang involved na operation ay division. Remember yung sa direct variation ay k, x, ngayon naman ay k over x. For example, a car is traveling a distance of 120 km. So the question is, how long will it take the car to reach its destination if it travels at a speed? So, given yung kanyang speed na 20 km per hour, 40 km per hour, 60 km per hour, and 80 km per hour. And then, remember that the formula in finding the time so, we're in the lesson, it's all about speed is given by the formula. So, this will be the formula that we're going to use. Time equals the distance over the rate. Yeah, so that will be the formula that we are going to use. So, we have here the rate in kilometer per hour and we have here time in hour. Okay? So, if the rate is 20 kilometer per hour, Therefore, it takes 6 hours. Again, by using the formula, paano natin makukuha yung 6 hours? So, yung ating distance ay 120. So, 120 divided by 20. So, that will be the rate in kilometer per hour. So, we will be getting the time, 6 hours. So, kapag naman, 40 kilometer per hour, so 120 divided by 40 is 3. So, it takes 3 hours. How about 60? So, 120 divided by 60 is 2 hours. And then, 120 divided by 80 is 1.5 or 1 and 1 half hour. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, pasok siya dito sa ating formula na y equals to k over x. Because for us to find the time, we just divide the given distance to its rate para makuha natin yung time. And that is something to do with the inverse variation. So, let's have an example. If y varies inversely as x and y equals to 1 3rd when x equals to 18, find y when x equals to 2. So, let's have the solution. So, the equation that we are going to use is the equation for inverse variation which is given by y equals to k over x. So, we're in our given that we need to substitute is 18 and 1 3rd. So, we're in your x is 18, then your y is 1 3rd. So, let us substitute. 
So your y is one third, and then k over your x is eighteen, and then one times eighteen is eighteen over three equals to k. Then eighteen divides three is six. So therefore, the value of our k or the constant of variation is six. And then y equals now your k is six over x when x equals to 18. Sorry, when x equals to 18. When x equals to 2, we need to find y. Again, our formula is y equals to 6 over x, so because our constant of variation is 6. So, to find y, we just substitute x as 2. So, y equals to 6 divides 2 is 3. So, thus, y equals to 3 when x equals to 2. So, for our last example, so let's have a word problem. So, a crew of 12 can build a hut in 8 days. So, halimbawa, bubuo sina ng bahay. It's like kubo. So, kapag daw binubuo ito ng 12, mabubuo daw nito within 8 days. Now, the question is, how long would it take a crew of 4 to build the same hut? So, let us understand the problem. So, let's have the solution. So, the first thing we should do is to have the given. So, let y be the number of days. Paigliin na lang natin ha. Number of days to build a hut. Ayan ha. To build a hut. Sige, sulat natin para buo. To build a hut. And then let x be the number of crew. So this time, we are talking about two quantities. So we have here a variable y and a variable x. And then k would be the constant of variation. So that's how we understand the problem. And then common sense tells us that if there were more crew working on the hut, the time needed to build the hut would be less. Thus, the two variables are inversely inversely related to one another. Okay? Sabi doon, kapag mas marami daw gagawa, of course, mas maunti yung time or yung day na matatapos ito. So, let us write the equation as y equals to k over x and then so we have here an ordered pair 12 12, 8. Again, the value of x is 12 since it is the number of crew, and then 8 is the number of days. So that's your y. So that is the first thing given that you need to substitute. We have 12, 8. And you need to find a constant of variation. Wherein your y is 8 equals k over your x is 12. And then k equals... So 12 times 8, we have here 96. So that will be your k. And then this is the equation of the variation. So we can write it as y equals to 96 over x. When, so ang given dito ay crew of 4. So therefore, when x equals to 4. So hanapin natin yung y which indicates the, uh, the number of days. They can build the same hut. So, therefore, y equals to 96 divided by 4 
y equals to 96 divides 4 equals to 24. So therefore, we can make conclusion. It will take... Twenty four days for a crew of four to build a hut. Yeah. So I hope that you learned something today regarding inverse variation. So don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson.